Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Maculate. We're going to find out how we're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so starting off with the Ace of Pentacles, okay, I'm definitely seeing that the Divine Masculine is thinking about this connection, okay, they definitely do want to come forward, and it's like they want to start a brand new energy, okay, have some type of brand new beginning here. I'm hearing that they're missing you, like, a whole lot, um, like, they can't stop thinking about you right now. This person is trying to figure out how to approach you right now. Um, they're doing this very secretly. They could be watching you in a very secretive way. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio here, very strong Scorpio, okay? Um, I am getting that in the past, this person may have come at you um, in like a sexual way. And I'm getting either you like... Yeah, so... In the past, they could have come at you in, like, a very sexual way or it was, like, a very, um, like, a flirty way. Some, and it was, like, you didn't really appreciate the way that, like, they came at you. It was very immature in your eyes. And um, I'm getting that you could have sort of, like, rejected them or they felt rejected by you, okay? And they realized that they can't just come at you like they would, you know, um go at any other option, right? So usually they would go at other options in like a very sexual way, very immature. Um, they just go for it, you know what I mean? Like nothing really holds them back and they did that with you by like they sort of felt left hanging, I'm hearing with you. Um, and now they're realizing they can't approach you like the way they would usually approach somebody, okay? But they really want to approach you. So they're trying to figure out how to approach you um, they want to do it in a respectful way. This person, okay, I'm getting they, they could be like a party or something. Um, either they're going to invite you to a party or they're going to show up somewhere. It's like they're trying to plan something where they like meet you or see you at some place, okay? And I'm getting it like somewhere, it's, I'm getting it could be a party or just like a get together or yeah they're trying to like figure something out they they could actually be trying to um bring like a third party like involved to try to invite you out and then they like run into you or something something like that i'm getting it's very like thought out Yeah, because this person, they want to come at you correctly, I'm hearing, okay? They do not want to come at you disrespectfully. Um, yeah, so this person, the energy that they're in, it's like they want to communicate, they want to communicate fast, but then they think about it, right? And they're thinking about the right way to communicate. They don't want to, like, again, come off the wrong way. They don't want to, like... I'm getting they want to celebrate with you or they want to party with you or something, but they don't want to come off in the wrong way, okay? This person, they want to, like, let you know that they've changed, that they've been working on themselves. They're not the same as before, I'm hearing. So at the moment, um, I am seeing that they're going through some type of, it's like some type of lesson, okay, or they've been through this lesson in the past, okay, it's like they didn't go towards what their heart wanted and they really regretted this. So I'm getting in the past this person. Okay, they put their emotions to the side. They really weren't thinking from their heart. Um, it's like they put all emotion to the side and they're thinking from their mind. Okay, this person definitely a little bit guarded when it comes to you. They feel like you're very powerful. 
You could be dealing with Scorpio, Capricorn, or Virgo. I'm hearing um, chocolate e eclair, okay? And I'm pretty sure that's like some type of chocolate. Let me know if that resonates. I am seeing that some type of... Something's happening, okay? The energy is changing. So you were feeling very stuck in this, I'm getting. And so was this person, okay? And I'm getting like there was this obsessive thinking or some type of obsessive behavior. I am getting it's like been thinking or even watching, okay, from afar. I am getting that something's going to happen. You're going to get some type of communication, um, which is going to make you really happy. Now, this could be um, a sign as well, like a really big sign, an undeniable sign. Yeah, you're going to get some type of clarity, okay? So, I'm getting before you were starting to feel like that this connection was like all in your head, or this was an illusion. This person's about to come in with some type of clarity which is going to clear that up. Um, I'm getting that this Divine Masculine is getting some type of guidance from Spirit, and they're really working with Spirit at the moment, okay? It's like they're listening to Spirit. Yeah, because they want to, like, they, they're really regretful at the moment. Um, they feel like they've missed this opportunity, like, and it's not just that they missed this opportunity, but it's like they ignored this opportunity or rejected this opportunity, and now it's like they want a second chance because they realise that, they really want to commit to you. They want something. They want to marry you here, okay? They want to happily ever after with you. But before, okay? So they they realized, okay, that they were thinking with their mind before, not with their heart and their intuition. And that le led them nowhere, okay? Some of them um, went down a really dark, toxic path, okay? Because they weren't listening to their intuition. You're on this person's mind a lot. Again, this person wants to come at you correct. They do not want to offend you, okay? They're looking at you on a really high regard. They think that you have a lot of options. You really, um, it's like, they look at you on a high regard as to most people, okay? They think you have it all. They think you're very independent, very beautiful. You don't really need them. Um... Yeah, this person feels regretful for walking away from you and they really didn't realise what they were walking away from. It's like they sort of took you for granted, okay? I'm hearing the name Gemma. So this person, okay, they could have been really worried about um, other options, okay? Um, now they realise in this separation period, they have realized that walking away from you has caused, caused so much burden and pain for them that um, all they want to do is come back, okay? They cannot get over you. Yeah, they're realizing this connection is different. Like, this is not a normal connection. Like, they're getting signs about you. Um, they're getting dreams about you. And I'm getting that you haven't spoken to this person in a long time. But they cannot stop... It's like this person, I'm getting, they keep dreaming about you and they wake up and it's like they can't get a proper sleep because all they do is think about you. Like spirit is really bugging them to try to communicate. Like because this person feels stuck without you and you feel stuck without them and um, there's a lot of heartbreak happening, okay, because this person keeps trying to run from their emotions. Yeah, spirit's coming in and... They're making this divine masculine move, okay? They're making this divine masculine really come in and um, make some type of offer, okay? Communicate. I'm seeing fast communication. So this person cannot stop. It's like they're stuck in the past, okay? They thought that they were going to walk away from this and, you know, forget about this in a few months. No, they're stuck in the past. 
it's like they cannot move forward in their life, okay? Because spirit keeps guiding them back to you. They just want to, like, make things right, I'm hearing. I'm hearing the name David. This person was very selfish, okay? Um, it's like, basically, they thought that this was going to go, like, a certain way, like, you were going to break their heart, or if they opened up their heart, like, this was going to end badly, like, some other situation, and they were looking at you in a negative aspect, that's why they walked away, and they just, they feel like, they feel dull without you, like, and they look at you and they feel like all they want is a second chance. I am seeing that they could come in, communicate with you, and then, like, ghost or something, okay? Because this person, they're healing, but they're not 100% healed, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, I am getting that they could come in and ghost. So I'm getting that this could make you feel like, you know, a little bit upset and everything. It's just that they sort of don't feel good enough for you at the moment. They feel like they need to work on themselves. It's like this person, um, like their behavior is very hot and cold. I'm getting they're trying to figure out if you're seeing somebody. Yeah, they're really trying to watch you, okay? Some of them feel like you're seeing somebody else. Um, and they're watching you and it's like they're not communicating or they're communicating through somebody else or in a sneaky way to try to see where you're at. It's like this person, they could communicate with you, but they're communicating from pain, okay? Or in a sneaky way, I'm getting... Again, trying to use their mind. This person also gets stuck in their mind. Like, they really look at you as somebody that's very abundant and has a lot of options. And they get stuck in their mind. Like, they feel like there's somebody that could treat you better. I'm getting something about a candlelight dinner. Some of them may want to take you out on a date. I'm getting 444, okay? I'm getting this person, um, like, their, their emotions right now are very hot and cold. Like, one moment they're like, oh, I'm so in love, I want to come forward. The next moment they're like, oh, no way I can. Um, it's like their mind, they keep overthinking this. You could be dealing with a Libra. There's definitely some type of, com they feel like there could be some type of competition and they feel like they could lose, so they could be trying to keep themselves away right now. Others, are, others could be coming out of like some type of marriage or commitment and now they're taking a step forward toward you. The communication's off, okay? This person, um, they're having a hard time actually communicating how they feel. They're doing a lot of watching you and, you know, feeling a certain way, but they're not doing a lot of, um, they're not doing, like, they're not taking a lot of action here. You could be dealing with an Aries here or a Sagittarius. So I'm getting... Some of them are assuming that um, there's a better option for you. That's why they're holding back, okay?
I am getting though that um, separation period is about to end for some of you. This person's coming in with um, fast communication and they're set on ending this um, separation period. Like they want to communicate with you. Again, very sneaky energy though. It's like they're going to do this in a very sneaky way. Um, or they're trying to figure out like a sneaky plan. Again, they could try to involve somebody else. Or try to figure out where you're going to be so they can show up there. Yeah, because they want to make movement. But it's like they keep stopping themselves from communicating with you. There could be somebody else involved or something else involved, which is stopping this person at the moment um, from moving forward, okay? They could be trying to hold on to something that doesn't serve them, and they're sort of a little bit hesitant to move. You could be dealing with Sagittarius or a Cancer here. Again, this person's energy is, like, very hot and cold right now. Like, one moment they're thinking about communicating, the next moment they're not. The next moment, like, their mind comes in and, like, talks them out of communicating with you. King and Queen of Pentacles, okay. King and Queen of Pentacles, good. Um, but I am getting that it's like you guys are meant to be together, but this person keeps contemplating whether... They should move forward and they also assume that you're not interested. Like they assume you can do better. They want to take a step forward but they're very intimidated to take a step forward because they feel like you're very beautiful, you have a lot of options, you really stand out. Um, they put you on a pedestal here, okay? Especially if you're dealing with an Aquarius or a, Lib um, a Libra or a Leo or you're an Aquarius, Libra or Leo. Yeah, so it's like they hold themselves back because they keep assuming that you're going to reject them or you could do better so they, like, restrict themselves away from it. Or they feel restricted for some reason. I'm, I don't know why I'm getting this person could, like, it's like they have all these feelings here for you, but they could, like, literally, like, you know, flirt with other people or try to, like, talk to other people and ignore you because they're seriously scared of coming at you that way, they don't want to disrespect you, um, they also feel like you're way out of their league, okay, so that's all I have for you, I really hope this resonated, if it did, please let me know in the comments, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.